in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who do you say I am? Ignatian Meditation on Mark 8 27 to 35. Welcome to this Ignatian Meditation on Mark 8 27 to 35. In this passage, we witness a pivotal moment in Jesus' ministry, Peter's confession of Jesus as the Messiah and Jesus' profound teaching on the cost of discipleship. As we reflect on these verses, let us open our hearts to understand what it truly means to follow Christ. Let's begin by reading the scripture passage together. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. For you are setting your mind not on divine things but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples, and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, will save it. In Mark 8 27-35, we witness the powerful moment when Peter declares Jesus as the Messiah. However, Jesus immediately reveals that his mission involves suffering, rejection, and death, a revelation that shocks Peter. Jesus then challenges his disciples and the crowd with the call to true discipleship, to deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow him. Imagine yourself walking with Jesus and the disciples to Caesarea Philippi. Feel the anticipation as Jesus asks the question, Who do people say that I am? Reflect on the varied answers the disciples give and then feel the weight of his personal question, Who do you say that I am? How do you respond to this question in your own life? Consider Peter's bold declaration, You are the Messiah. Reflect on what this confession means for you. How does your understanding of Jesus as the Messiah shape your relationship with him? Now, shift to Jesus' response when he reveals that the Messiah must suffer and die.
like Peter, you might feel confused or even disturbed by this revelation. Reflect on how the idea of suffering and sacrifice fits into your understanding of following Christ. Contemplate the call to take up your cross and follow Jesus. Reflect on the areas of your life where Jesus is asking you to deny yourself and embrace the cross. How do you respond to his invitation to lose your life for his sake and for the sake of the gospel? Let's take a moment for prayerful contemplation. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide your reflections. Ask for the grace to confess Jesus as the Messiah in both words and actions. Pray for the strength to carry your cross, knowing that Jesus walks with you. Ask for the courage to surrender your life to him, trusting that in losing it, you'll find true life in him. Who do you say Jesus is in your own life? How do you live out this confession in your actions? What does it mean for you personally to take up your cross and follow Jesus? Are there areas in your life where you are setting your mind on human things rather than divine things? How can you shift your focus to align more with God's will? What does it look like in your daily life to deny yourself for the sake of the gospel? As we conclude this Ignatian meditation on Mark 8, 27 to 35, let us take to heart the call to true discipleship. Jesus invites us to follow him, even into suffering and sacrifice, knowing that in giving up our lives for his sake, we will find true life. Let us go forth with a renewed commitment to follow Christ, carrying our cross with courage and trusting in the promise of life that he offers. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.